Hello, it's lovely to be in beautiful San Beda this morning. It's really peaceful and in the next couple of minutes I'd like to show you around Koi Deru here. Now we're only a couple of hundred yards from the village centre, so shops and pubs and things are all within walking distance. But the lovely thing about living along here is that this is a no through road and a beautiful country lane leads up here into Koi de Artro with lovely walks alongside the Avon Artro itself. Carry on watching and I'll have a few surprises inside and around the garden here too. The first thing to point out is that if you've ever had a problem with parking, you're unlikely to do so here because out the side there's space for about 10 cars like mine to be parked and then through this gate we go into the formal gardens. Come on Rube, let's go up the stairs. Good girl. The front garden here is a lovely wooded environment and these big oak trees here are what gives the bungalow its name. Let's go up the side here, up these steps to the entrance. For a two bedroom bungalow, I've got an awful lot to show you here, so I hope you're sitting comfortably. We'll start off by going in through the main door, which is at the back here. Come on, Rube. Let's go in here. As we come in the hall here, straight away you get a great first impression with all this spotlighting and this clever combination of glazed doors and solid hardwood doors over here. There's also lovely sanded flooring as well. Just in here is the boiler cupboard. This is also good space to hang up your coats and things. There's an oil-fired boiler in there and the important thing to remember is that it's actually under floor heating here so you've got no unsightly radiators on any of the walls. Just up here in the ceiling, there's a loft hatch and this is going to take us up to surprise number one. Now although there's no proper stairs up here, so you can't use it as a bedroom, this space could be used for all sorts of things if you've got any hobbies or need a lot of storage. It's fully carpeted out, there's lighting, power points and two roof windows. Next thing to show you off the hallway is the main lounge here. You've got this glazed door off the hall, these French doors go through to the uh, dining area and then out the front here, got more French doors that open onto the front balcony. From here, there's a lovely outlook to the woods at the front or down towards the village on your right. Off the lounge here, I want to show you surprise number two in this dining area. Just look up and it's got a lovely high ceiling with concealed lighting and then an open plan kitchen on the right hand side and then there's this lovely high gloss ceramic tile floor that really contrasts with the white kitchen units. As well as the roof window, there's triple aspect windows in the kitchen dining room and this accentuates the feeling of spaciousness from the high ceiling. Both the bedrooms look out to the front of the property. They've got the wooden flooring spotlighting and there's a Jack and Jill bathroom. The main bedroom here has got this double sized walk-in cupboard. This is right next to the bathroom and it's crying out for conversion to a shower room. One of the doors to the Jack and Jill bathroom is off this main bedroom through here. And the walls and the floor are both fully tiled. So before I take you for a tour around the garden, I just want to go out here on the balcony and show you the next little surprise, which is the basement underneath us. Hello Rube. Come on then. This is the exterior entrance to the um, basement with an exterior door just underneath the balcony. Well, the disappointing thing here is that I can't get the lights to turn on. So remember, when you book your viewing to come and have a look round, bring a torch with you so we can get a good look at these basement rooms. I think there's three, maybe four, but I'm not going any further than this. Let's go outside where it's a lot brighter. I think this bungalow was built in about 2006 or 2007. It's got some nice stone relief on the front there. Another nice thing is the stone wall at the front and this original old iron kissing gate. The trees here are absolutely awesome and you can actually walk round either side of the bungalow where surprise number three is the back garden. So let's go up there and have a look. 
you don't know much about Llanbeda or you've never visited the village, I'll put a link at the end of this video to my short video tour of the village there for you. So don't forget to watch that if you need to. First of all, out the back here, we've got this raised sun deck. You can see it's probably about, oh, I don't know, about half past 10 or 11, got plenty of sunshine here at the moment. But the next exciting thing is where do these stairs go? Come on, Ruby, let's go up here, up here. Go on, up we go. Go on, up we go. Good girl. Well, after two flights of these stairs, we're still not quite at the top, but I'm sure this climb is gonna be worthwhile. Look, there's Ruby at the top waiting for me. Hello, Rube. What's up there, hey? What can you see? Oh, look at that view. That's the sea over there and the clean peninsula beyond. And you can just see the yachts in Pensan Harbour. Really doesn't get much better than this. Your own bit of oak hillside forest and then at the top, a lovely sea view. I can see all sorts of potential for doing something up here, really. Thanks for watching this video about Koi Deru. I'm Andy Sanderson. This is Ruby. If you'd like to come and have a look at the bungalow for yourself, please give me a call on the usual number, which is 01341 281599. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you'd like to be notified about more videos that we produce in the future, please follow the Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel and click the little alarm bell so that you can get notifications. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you up here soon. Bye bye now. Thank <music> you.